Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back. I'm Jeannie and I'm slowly working through my way through some of my orders that I got earlier this year that I haven't used any of the colors. So I did place an order with All Powdered Up a few months ago, so I'm finally using some of the colors that came in the order. The first one I'm going to be using is Blue Moon. I did get it in my most recent order, however, it is an older color. It's a beautiful sheer buildable white shimmer and it actually glows blue, so that's going to go under my water slide decal. And the other two are, well, newer when I bought them, is Teal Breaker, which is actually a thermal, so it's this beautiful teal color that changes to like a whitish pinkish I don't I wouldn't say it's completely white I feel like it has like a little pink tinge to it but it's really beautiful and then I'm going to be using crystal which is a little bit of a chunkier glitter with iridescent glitters that I think just kind of goes nicely with the the teal and so this is what I'm going to be using I think crystal might have been a freebie with orders if I'm not mistaken and I'll also be using these Bref breakfast at Tiffany's decals from Poshy Nail Design. I haven't used decals in a while so I figured it'd be fun to break some out as well as you know my favorite dip liquids are double dipped so I'll be using my double dipped dip liquids as well. So let's get right into my dipping. So this is gonna be my normal dipping process all the way through. So I'm starting with Blue Moon and that's gonna go on my middle finger only because my middle finger is what's gonna have my water slide decal. I thought the Breakfast at Tiffany theme went well with the teal that I'm kind of going for. And believe me, All Powdered Up has amazing, amazing purple colors. I have a lot of purples in my order, but I'm very well aware that I've done a lot of purple manis lately. So I was trying really hard not to do it so that's why I decided to use teal but anyway so you can see here on my first dip of blue moon it is a sheer or white which doesn't bother me because I'm putting a decal over it but the more layers you do the more you're going to build up that coverage but so whenever you're using water slide decals most of them always are on a transparent background not all but most of them are so you always want to use a white or something really light or else you're water slide decal design will not show up so that's why I'm using blue moon and I think I forgot to get a picture of it but the glow underneath the water slide decal was so cool because blue moon is a really bright blue glow which I thought was kind of like a fun added touch so I'm just working on my second layer of blue moon I'm cleaning up my cuticle area this precision tool is from all powdered up as well so then I'm gonna do the same thing. So now I'm gonna move on to Teal Breaker. So this is the teal to white-ish thermal. So once it's once it's cold, it's a teal. And then once it's warm, it turns into like that whitish little tint of pinkish color. And this is just a really, and look at how sensitive it is. It's a really sensitive thermal. So you can see it here that the my nail bed is warmer. So you can kind of see that whitish pinkish color on my nail bed and then at my free edge area it's colder so you can see the teal. I'm going to do two total dips of teal breaker on my index finger and pinky but I'm only going to show you one because I really want to get into crystal which is the beautiful chunky glitter as well as the water slide decals and I will mention blue moon and teal breaker are both shimmers and then I've got the glitter of crystal so I'm going to go ahead and wait to cap everything in clear when I'm done so I'm not going to cap and clear in between my colors. So moving on to crystal, like I said, this is a chunkier glitter and I did look it up. So it was a freebie in the orders back in January or February. It was earlier this year where it was their third anniversary dip. And so this is so beautiful. So like I do with all chunky glitters, my first layer I'm gonna pour over into my Dipped in Chaos by Chaos Concepts. And you'll notice I actually start pouring out the glitter first before I start pouring it onto my nail. And that's just because if there's any chunkier glitters at the surface of the jar, I like to get those out first before I start pouring over my nail. And so I didn't pick up as many of the chunkier glitters on my first layer. That, that's what I want to do for my second layer. So uh, to avoid any kind of bulkiness, I like to pick up on my first layer, the finer glitters, the acrylic powder, but less of the bigger glitter pieces. 
So Crystal has all sizes of glitters in it. So it's got large, medium, and small, and some shimmers in it. But you can kind of see that the glitters are iridescent. And I love that they kind of give off that teal look, which I think paired really nicely with Teal Breaker. But depending on what color it's with and depending on the lighting, they can also look pink and yellow and green and teal. So that's what I really love about iridescent glitters is they just give off different colors depending on lighting and what color it's paired with. So now that I'm done with my first layer of teal break, not teal breaker, crystal, I'm going to pour the rest of my jar into my dipped in chaos because for my second layer is when I want to pick up the chunkier glitters. So I'm actually going to lay my finger flat into the glitters to pick up the larger pieces. So I do that by applying a thin, even layer of dip base to my entire nail. And then once I've got that dip base on, I'm going to turn my hand upside down and lay my finger flat into the glitter. And when I did this, I got good coverage. Like I didn't have to place any of the glitters. It was enough coverage. I actually had too many of the chunky glitters. So I had to knock off any of the loose pieces because obviously I didn't want to have my nails too chunky, but great coverage with these glitters. They had plenty of glitters on them. And I liked that I didn't have to hand place any of the glitters because I got enough coverage from laying my finger flat in. So I'm gonna do the same thing for my thumb as well. everything in clear activated and filed and buffed off camera it didn't take much work at all so now we're going to get into our water slide decals so i'm using these water slide decals from poshi and every set she has includes extras and this sheet of extras had these beautiful teal flowers that i thought were so pretty so i decided to use them so i'm taking my scissors and i'm cutting as close to the design as possible because you want as little excess so i'm just cutting around to where the design is so this is a full nail decal that i'm going to be using so once i've got that cut out i just want to make sure that it's going to fit my nail and then i decided to use my double dipped gel liquid so these are their hema free formula and so i'm going to apply an even layer of gel base to my middle finger which is where i'm going to use my decal so you want something that your decal to, can adhere to because it's not going to stick to your dry dip nail so if you don't want to use gels you can use sticky base coat and air dry so maniology has a really great sticky base coat i believe Dipalicious might have a sticky base coat as well. So whatever you want to use. So I'm going to give this a cure for 30 seconds in my UV LED lamp. And then I'm going to stick my water slide decal in the little bit of water. Usually for about 10, 15 seconds is plenty. You don't want your decal to soak for too long. So once it's been in there for 10, 15 seconds, I'm going to fish it out with my tweezers. I'm going to dab off the excess water on my paper towel. I'm going to pick it up with my jelly stamper and then gently remove the backing so you can see the water slide decal there. And then I'm going to kind of look through my jelly stamper and place it on my nail and press down. So that I find the easiest way to apply a decal flat for me is by using the jelly stamper. So you want to be really careful and not messing with the decal so much because it is really thin and you can easily rip it. 
So I do have excess on the decal. So I'm just taking a little bit of acetone and my cleanup brush, and I'm just going around the excess because the acetone is really going to just melt off that excess decal. But still, you wanna be really careful with this as well because you don't wanna rip your decal. Since I already have my gels out, I decided to go ahead and use my gel top coat for all my nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a layer of gel base first to all my nails and cure that for 30 seconds. And that's gonna prevent my gel top coat from peeling because your gel top coat will peel if you don't use your gel base. So once I've got my gel base cured for 30 seconds, I'm going in with my gel top coat and I'm going ahead and capping my free edge first with my gel top coat. So on all my nails, I'm applying that gel top coat to my free edge. And I find that it makes a smoother gel top coat if you cap your free edge first before you go in and apply it to your entire nail. So I'm applying my gel top coat to all my nails. I'll cure that for a full 60 seconds. Once my top coat is fully cured and cooled down, I'm going to go ahead and rehydrate my cuticles using my scales of a mermaid cuticle oil. And this is in the scent Don't Be a Prick, which is from her newest release. And I love this scent. It's very fresh and a little bit floral, but not overwhelming. So here we are with the finished look. So as you can tell, my fingers were very warm, so you can't really see much of that teal. But look at how beautiful these colors go together. And I absolutely love the water slide decals with them. So if you stay till a little bit longer till the end, I'll show you pictures of fully cold, warm and transition. But here's how it looks with my fingers really warm. It was really warm in my room when I was doing this Manny. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue creating content like this. And it also helps YouTube recommend me to others, which helps grow my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I upload content every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Flashing red lights, driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive, nothing in sight, forever in flight, follow those lines, we're making this time, blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories that we're making tonight, oh yeah, we're making tonight.